My name is Paul Webb. I'm here about corruption of the third judicial system of Columbia County, Florida, Lake City. Uh, on the night before Thanksgiving Day, uh, my daughter arrived from Lake City, Florida. She was badly beaten. <clears throat> uh, I was really upset about the situation. Uh, uh, and I started to go to Florida personally, and my daughter said, Dad, don't, don't go. I said, okay, uh, what's going on? I said, you need to get the law involved. And she said, Dad, Alan, they won't do anything to him. Alan's parents are, are friends with Judge Vernon Douglas of the Third Judicial Circuit, and uh, he has a lengthy criminal record, uh, uh, mostly pertaining to violence and uh, and I said, well, did you try to press charges on him? And she said, yes, she pressed charges, but she's afraid to return to Florida to go to court. She did have a court date. Okay, uh, Monica, uh, I, I, I believe it was, uh, Monica was in, in Iowa for several weeks. Uh, she held up pretty good and uh, I believe it was uh, maybe January 16th, uh, Monica went missing from the area. We couldn't find her, didn't know where she was at, and we had assumed that she had went back to Florida. Uh, and, and she did. She went back to Florida uh, under, under force. Monica didn't voluntarily go back to Florida. When she got back to Florida, uh, the assistant DA, Roberta, and I, I don't know her last name at the moment, uh, said that she tried to contact Monica several times, which that was probably possible, uh, but being that she could not contact Monica, she dropped the, uh, the charges on Allen for the assault on Monica. In the meantime, Allen already had a charge on him for assaulting a medical worker in the ER. They have all this on video. Uh, on, uh, from January the 16th uh, to February the 3rd, I, I heard nothing of, about, of my daughter except one, one answer on the, on the internet where I had been trying to contact her and she sent me an email said I love you dad and that was the end of it. Uh, on midnight February the 3rd my son uh, proceeded to wake me up in the middle of the night and tell me my daughter was killed. He was hysteric and uh, I really it, I really couldn't get a grip on it at the moment and uh, so uh, at that point, my wife uh, and I, we got together and we flew to Florida the next morning and uh, went to the DA's office and uh, uh, the assistant DA was, was being a very arrogant person and she was telling me, and she never even told me anything about Alan had just received probation at this point. All, all she was, was being very arrogant about the fact that uh, she, could, she couldn't prosecute Alan without Monica. And even though they had had him on videotape of beating the medical provider down in the ER, they, she said she had no evidence to, uh, to convict Adam Allen on charge of, with Monica. But she had pictures. And the state, I know Florida, can pick up and state can take over a charge if someone wants to drop a charge. I know this for a fact. Uh, so as, as things, as we get to talking to people and finding out a lot of different things, I, I find out the, that this is a true in fact that, that uh, Judge Douglas is connected to the Stratton family. And Allen has a lengthy history of crime, mostly violence, uh, uh, going back to uh, I, I want to say 2003, uh, and each time he, he he would would get in trouble, it would be a uh, it would be a a, a fine or 
a, a suspended jail term. Uh, at one point, he did go to jail on a 115-day uh, jail sentence, and he spent nine days on that sentence and released for time served. Uh, Alan, uh, his parents would pay the fines. Alan never never worked, wouldn't hold a job. He would. Uh, he has an ex-wife and a child. Uh, his child support got up over two thousand dollars, and he was he was still in the free world. I had a friend that got up to five hundred dollars in the state of Florida. He went to jail until it was paid. He sat in that jail for two months while his family scraped up money to get him out to pay the $500. In the meantime, it done accumulated about $400 more, but it didn't reach the $500 at that point, so he did get out. But Alan Stratton would just, just continue to create havoc in this town and, uh, and with a slap on the wrist, go free. Uh, two days prior to murdering my daughter, daughter he was uh, given one year probation for a simple battery. Uh, the simple battery, the original charge to this was a, a felony on a medical worker. Uh, like I said, Allen's got, had prior violence. These people knew that Allen was violent and knew at some point he was going to go off. He, he brandished his weapons on the internet. We, we took pictures. We were taking pictures off his MySpace page the same time they were they were deleting his account, but we did get them before they got the account taken down. We got them. We got we got remarks uh, from his mom to to him. Uh, you, you know that you know go ahead. You know you're okay. You do whatever it is you need to do, whatever, uh, and so on. Uh, so uh, uh, I I, th I think but. If, if, the, if the third judicial circuit had done their job, my daughter and her friends would be alive right now. Not only did Alan kill my daughter, he killed two of her friends. Her friend, Nicole Cervantes, was six months pregnant. He shot her baby in the belly first before he killed any of them. He made a confession, a detailed confession, how he killed them all in a rapid succession. Even if any of them people that he killed were armed, they would have had no chance. He killed them with a, 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 a 40 caliber uh, uh, Springfield automatic uh, in rapid succession. Uh, and I, I would, I, 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 I don't have a problem with, with people carrying weapons uh, in, in a legal manner uh, uh, pertaining to permits and so forth, but I, I don't think they should have to I don't think it should be concealed. I think they sh if they're going to carry, they should carry them in an open manner, uh, so everyone will know who's who's carrying a gun, and who's not. Uh, uh, but I, I would just like to say that I, I would like the immunity taken away from our our officials, like judges and so forth, that that uh, that knowingly knowing knowing that they're, they're letting people go that are, are dangerous to society and they continue to let them go just because they're friends, their relatives, or what have you. Uh, and they need to be held accountable. Uh, I think between uh, Alan Stratton's parents, Rita Stratton and Terry Stratton, Judge Vernon Douglas, I think they're just as guilty of killing my daughter as Alan. Show, uh, show what you've got there. Okay, first of all, I'll show the what was tried to be done. One thing they tried to do as well is the judge tried to toss out this. But 
the parents really raised some cane about all this, so this is what happened. And Alan was convicted on all four counts, and he is serving without any chance of uh, appeal or parole. He's serving four consecutive life terms in Florida's uh, penal system. Uh, Alan could have, long before this, went went to jail. I have cases after cases of Alan here. Uh, where he's he's been a menace and and very violent, uh, and he just goes and on to the point where he's he's been let let he's done so much in his life and got away with because of uh, the parents uh, not putting any punishment on him. Uh, the system would never give him any real punishment. It was always either fines or uh, or, or, or suspended sentences, he, he should have been given, uh, you know, perhaps maybe uh, six months in jail at, at some point or another. You know, you're out doing these sort of things. You know, give that person some jail time. Let him see what it's about instead of feeding his ego. That's all they did was feed his ego. Uh, he continued to create havoc up to the point of, of, of killing my daughter and her friends and it is it just it, the list goes on and on and on and this you know how many convictions he had what was it Karen 21 or 27 23 what? 23 you say that as a uh, Al Alan has been convicted 23 Mr. times give it, give his full name. Alan Lucas Stratton has been convicted 23 times from and in uh, most of, and a lot of these Convictions started out as misdemeanor. Um, no, started out as felonies and were pled down to misdemeanors and slight fines and suspended jail terms. And uh, what happened shortly before he killed your daughter? In terms of uh, getting off on one of these. Uh, just the day before, two days prior to murdering my daughter, Alan was sentenced to one year probation for simple battery. The simple battery charge originated, it was a felony assault on a medical provider. They had him on video camera, beat this woman down in an emergency room, smash her head to the wall, throw her in the floor and kick her, and still gave, let him plead down to a simple battery charge, which was a misdemeanor. What if they hadn't uh, done that? If, if they had given Ad Alan Lucas Stratton, at least six months in jail. Uh, my daughter would be alive right now and her friends. Uh, my daughter's very missed by a lot of people. He should have got one year. He should have got at least a year, a minimum of one year for beating that lady down in the emergency room. And you people let him go, let him go, let him go. My daughter's dead. Thank you very much. Can I say something? This is horrible, man. You know, uh, parents aren't supposed to bury their children. That's just the bottom line of the whole thing here. Uh, little children not supposed to see their mother in a casket. Grandmas are not supposed to see their grandbabies in caskets. You know, it's just, uh, it's horrible. Uh, uh, you, you, should, uh, you shouldn't have to, like, like Nicole Cervantes was killed alongside my daughter, uh, and, and also her unborn child, and you know, uh, them two are, they're buried together. The baby and her mom, they'll, they'll never be separated. They're there forevermore. Uh, Michael was killed with them as well. I didn't know Michael, uh, didn't know nothing of him. But from what I'm understanding, he, he, he was a good person and uh, 
Uh, he was, uh, he was uh, well on his way of being an engineer, graduating, being an engineer, and you know, and just he had he had three small boys. I know that. Uh, so so them boys, their their father's gone as well. You know, it's. Uh, Let me get you to say, put this in your own words. It's, and sorry, but it won't pick you up. That's why I should. I was trying to get him some help because okay. not only was Douglas friends of the family, Alan's lawyer was his freaking uncle. Absolutely. And he had no driver's license. He had no job, so there was no way for him to come to Iowa and get Monica if he didn't have his parents' vehicle and money. He was already on probation, so he wasn't supposed to have any weapons in the house. I'm just trying to feed you some more. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. That's okay. It just I just get upset won't pick as you much as he does. It just irks me. But we'll sit you down over here in a second and put a microphone on you and let you talk about it. Um, put this in your own words. Um, my daughter was killed by Alan Lucas Stratton, a man who had been convicted 21 times of uh, various charges. Never really did any time because uh, his family relationship with uh, the judge and the people in uh, whatever county it is uh, took care of him. And uh, that should have never happened. As a matter of fact, he was put out of, he was uh, let off on something that should have had him in prison. Absolutely. At the time that he killed my daughter and, and three others. And this, <coughs> my daughter was killed because of state of Florida or the county in Florida that they're the ones responsible for this it should have never happened something like that all right when you're ready okay uh, I, I really shouldn't be sitting here today one thing this this is a bad situation uh, I shouldn't really be having this interview uh, uh, Alan Lucas Stratton took three lives, basically four lives at one time, and, and, and my daughter was one. Uh, and, and this, like I said, none of, I shouldn't even be sitting here right now. None of this should be going on. Alan Stratton has, has committed crime after crime after crime just to be uh, let go and, and do it again. It, it's, uh, he, he has He's got away with so much for so long, uh, he was just delusional in believing that anything he did, he could get away with it because of the parents, the relationship. Uh, his parents, uh, Rita Stratton's a retired educator. Uh, his father is a professor at the University of North Florida. Uh, th these people know they, they should be educated and understand enough to know what they're doing to their own child Alan Stratton by allowing him to continue his charade with the weapons. Uh, uh, he, he has like an arson of weapons in the home when they went out after the death and searched the home there was an arson of weapons Alan, Adam, Adam, Alan had access to. Uh, uh, he, was, uh, he, was, he was given probation two days prior to killing my daughter. Why weren't these weapons from, removed from that home? Uh, uh, and I'm assuming the total reason the weapons were not removed from the home because the home was of Terry and Rita Stratton, Adam, Alan's parents. Uh, and Alan's parents are good friends with Judge Vernon Douglas. Uh, Rita Stratton and Judge Vernon Douglas went to school together and, and continued to uh, own to be friends throughout life. and, and Terry Stratton, Adam, Alan's father, uh, and Judge Vernon Douglas are both elders in the, the Mormon Tabernacle in Lake City, Florida. So they conspired, I believe, to keep a Alan free. Uh, 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 my daughter would be here today if these people did their job, even the Strattons as parents, if they had did their job. Uh, Judge Douglas, if he had done his job. Who's responsible for the death of your daughter? Judge Vernon Douglas. Well, first I'm going to put it like this. Number one, Alan Stratton. 
Number two. Stop to say the people responsible for my daughter's okay. death are. Uh, okay. The people responsible for my daughter and her friend's death are uh, Terry and Rita Stratton, Judge Vernon Douglas, and Alan Stratton. Uh, I, I hold the uh, Columbia County, Lake City, Florida, Columbia County. Uh, your your judicial system is is totally responsible for the death of my daughter. Jarvik said the morning of this murder, they were murdered around midnight, the February 2nd, February 3rd. The morning of Jarvik went to Doug, Doug to Judge Douglas and told him it would be in his best interest to step away from this. Yes, case. I heard that in that conference. When I tried to get a copy of that phone conference, he said I couldn't have it. We also we also had a conference uh, uh, after the after the murder, uh, and Alan was in jail, we were having a conference on discussing the uh, the, uh, the possible outcomes of, uh, of of a trial and a plea bargain and so forth. Uh, uh, during the discussion, uh, the chief prosecutor Jarvis uh, mentioned the fact that he went to. Judge Vernon Douglas is the very next morning and told him that it would be in his best interest to step down and, and not preside over Allen. And we did have to eventually force just Judge Douglas off this case. We had to force him down. Uh, he didn't voluntarily step down. Uh, did he handle the trial? No. Okay. No, he didn't. We, we had him had him down, disqualified. disqualified to handle the case. We showed that there was a, uh, he had interest in, in the family and they were, there was a, a great deal of prejudice there and it couldn't. Wonder what would happen if he had handled it. <laughs> oh, uh, I'd probably be dead right now. Uh, even, even along with everything going on there, they were so, they were so on to the families, don't pursue death penalty, don't pursue death penalty, don't pursue, they're, they're poor mouthing us about how it costs the state so much to do this, state do this, do that. And at, at, you know, they brainwashed us in believing, you know, that, uh, that, at, at, that, oh, uh, it, it all makes me so bad sometimes, Bill, I, I can't talk straight, but, uh, uh, they, they, and even even after you know telling us you know don't don't we're, we don't want to pursue death penalty we don't want to pursue death penalty even in the end Roberta the assistant DA told me that no matter what we said they wasn't going to pursue death penalty on him anyway uh, just because of the fate of the the prosecutor and the judge presiding over that it was uh, not within their but that's when they're throwing religion into the, into the justice system. And you'll see, and if you look and see, you'll never, uh, under that particular, under the particular folks that's running that circuit right now, there's not been a death penalty imposed. All around the other judicial systems, there's been several in each system, but not in that particular system. Not in the Mormon Tabernacle system. Absolutely. Is he the only judge? No. He, he's Chief Judge Vernon Douglas. He is the chief chief judge. And I think I failed to mention that. He's the, Judge Vernon Douglas is the chief judge of the 3rd Judicial, which he has retired now. Was Douglas still involved when they made the decision not to go for the death penalty? Uh, probably behind doors. I'm sure he was behind doors involved deeply because of the relationship he has with the family. And uh, the prosecutor involved was who? Robert Jarvis. Robert Jarvis. Okay. 
Robert Jarvis is the one after the, the meeting that uh, it told us in the meeting that he went to Judge Vernon Douglas' office the morning after and told him it'd be his best interest to step down. And Judge Vernon Douglas did do the arraignment over Allen. And that's as far as it went because we're like, no, it's, it's not going any further than this. Uh, he did the arraignment, uh, put him in jail without any bond. Uh, and it was like, you know, the families, other than myself, there's more families involved in this than myself. Uh, like I said, Monica's uh, uh, two friends were killed with her, so th there's two more families involved there. Uh, are, uh, they, are they in Florida? Yes, they, they are. Come to talk to me, you think? Yeah, they're gonna. Great. They're gonna. Any last words, and we'll call it a wrap. Uh, about best thing I can say is Terry. Rita Stratton, Judge Vernon Douglas, we're coming to get you with Lawless America. How do you like me now?